Okay. okay. So what we have is in the front we have the cathode. It's heated up, it's glowing red, it's giving off electrons. <coughs> and at the back. Ooh. And at the back, we've got a the, the anode um, behind a phosphorescent screen. Oh, it's a phosphorescent coating on, on the anode, sorry. So the electrons are going from the cathode at the front to the anode at the back. And when they hit the phosphorescent screen, they give off light. So the grid is actually a horizontal bar, as you can't see them very well, probably definitely from the back. But it's a bars horizontal bars in between the cathode and the anode. So if I make them positive with respect to the um, cathode, the heated cathode, we accelerate the electrons through and um, and they go towards the and they go on to, and they hit the anode. If we make it oops, wrong one. If we make it negative, we repel the electrons and we can even Completely repel them, so now you're getting evaded <laughs> with electrons. No, you're not. Yeah. It'll be it'll go into the glass. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> I'm sure. That's what you want. <laughs> so and so, it can act as a switch huh? on or off, as it was. These thermionic devices were used in early computers uh, as switches, or it can be used to amplify the signal and make it more uh, louder or quieter, so to speak, um, from the incoming signal, it, it, which in this case is just simply uh, a fixed voltage. But if you've got a varying signal, like a radio wave coming in from, um, from the Allies in the Second World War, um, you can boost the signal and, uh, and hear over longer distances. Yep. The other one, 